The tremendous growth rate of our county, coupled with extremely high unemployment and limited basic skills of many residents, has resulted in an affordable housing crisis. There are 9,000 homeless people in the county in any given year, including families with children, seniors, and persons with disabilities. Unfortunately, there are only 300 units of supportive housing available for this population. The Martinez family is made up of Maria and her two daughters, two-year-old Carla and Alondra, seven. Maria rents a small bedroom in a private home for $600 per month. 53. When she was an infant, Alondra was diagnosed with a rare brain disorder. Some of the symptoms include seizures, muscle spasms, and severe psychomotor function. Four months ago, Alondra started taking medication for anxiety due to her family's confined living arrangement. Maria recognizes the desperate need for better housing in order to improve her daughter's health and development. For her, it's been difficult. She gets mad and I can't figure out what to do. Are we gonna go through the alley? Maybe. Maybe. The Roden family of five have been renting an overcrowded one-bedroom apartment for seven years. Living in cramped substandard housing is taking its toll on James and Patricia. They are in dire need for something to fit their young family. It's like a musical, musical beds because, you know, it's just kind of where you fall asleep. It's kind of where there's room. It's kind of where, like, if the kids fell asleep in the bedroom, well, don't go in there because we're all going to lose our minds if we wake them up. It's um, very crammed. These families need help but are unsure of where to turn. Throughout the Modesto nut season, you will follow these families in their search for affordable housing and a place to call home.